This video is brought to you by Optin Monster. Use Optin Monster to convert and monetize your website traffic and grow your email list. Just click on the link in the description below to get started. The first 200 people to use the coupon code WPBVIP will get 25% off Optin Monster. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a content locker for your WordPress website. Recently, I was on Backlinko's website and I was going through his blog area and something caught my eye. It was this area right here where I noticed there's a padlock and I couldn't get into it. I had to click on this button to lock, unlock it now. And if you scroll down, you see a couple of them that he's doing. I'm already a subscriber and that immediately made me want to log in and subscribe and click on the link and to subscribe to his website, even though I'm already a subscriber. So if you notice, this is a really powerful way to get your readers to subscribe to your email list. And it's a little bit different than creating content upgrades because maybe you put all of your research and all of your time into writing this post and the post itself is really valuable. You don't want to sell it. You want to give it away freely, but you do want for people to maybe subscribe to your email list before they can read this. So let me walk you through how you can do this using OptiMonster on your WordPress website. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is go and get an OptiMonster account. Once you do that, let's head back over. We're going to go to our WordPress dashboard. And this is the setup site that we've been using for all of our series on how to make money, how to start a blog. So we'll log into our WordPress dashboard. From here, we'll want to go to our plugins area. We'll click add new because we need to install OptiMonster. If you already have that, then you can click on the timestamp in the description below to jump ahead a little bit. So we're looking for OptiMonster. And this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. Once we install it, you'll also want to hang around to activate it. We'll do that. Once it's activated, you want to make sure that you get your license key from your OptiMonster dashboard. So let me go there real quick to get that. You can get it from my account and then the API. And then we can click on this little icon to copy it. Once we get that, let's head back over to our dashboard and we can connect our account. From here, let's just right click and paste our API key and connect to OptiMonster. And we'll save settings. Okay, now that we've added the plugin to our site, we can create a content locker. First, let's take a look at our posts and see which ones do we want to do this content locker on. For instance, I have the best garden tomatoes. This is a huge post that I spent a lot of time creating and now I want to increase my readership and increase my email list by doing a content locker for that. So that's probably the one we're going to add the content locker to. So let's head back over to OptiMonster so we can create this. So I'm going to go to OptiMonster and go to our dashboard once we log in. And we're going to click Create Campaign. So to do this, we need to do an inline campaign. So that's the one we'll pick and we'll scroll down. You can even filter a little bit further on if your desire is to grow your list. If you're doing a time sensitive, then it'll do a pull in a countdown timer. We're doing grow our list. So let's pick this template to use. You can name it. From here, you need to choose the website that you want this to go on. If you have multiple sites, then you can choose from the drop down. And we'll start building it. So we'll click on this and set it up here. Not change the name of the button. And what else do I want to do? Under inline settings, we need to decide if we want this to be content locked below. And with this, we're going to say yes. So we're going to toggle that. And you can do one of two things. The op obfuscation. The obfuscation will simply make it blurred out behind there so you can see it. Or then you can also do removal, which it won't show anything of what's on there. So we can do that. We'll also do the enable attention activation, and that's a really neat feature that it will so it'll come up and be more present when they're scrolling through. So that's real simple. Let's go ahead and click Save Changes. Let's make sure that our display rules are good. It'll be on any page. We'll change this when we're there because there are only certain ones that we want it to go to. Under Integration, you'll want to integrate this with an email provider. You can also, if you don't have an email provider, you can do Monster Leads. And then all of your leads will be saved 
in OptiMonster until you're ready to do like a MailChimp or a Mailer Light. For this video, I'm just going to do the Monster Leads, but again, you have all of these to choose from for your email service provider. Okay. And then you can also set up analytics here. So we'll connect that, click save. The final thing we need to do is let's go ahead and click publish so we can enable it. So I'm going to go to publish and see it has a little pause sign now. Let's go ahead and click the status to live. And just for measures, we're going to save it one more time. Great. Now we have it. Now we need to go back to our website and choose where we want this to show. So we're going to go back to our website. We're going to go to scrolling down. We need to go to OptiMonster. And I need to refresh the campaigns so that I can see the new locking one in. You see it's disabled by default when it comes over. We need to edit the output settings. You notice that the campaign will not be displayed on the site unless this is checked. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. Since this is going on certain posts or pages, we need to copy the short code. So I'm going to copy it to clipboard. All right. So now that I copied the short code to my clipboard, let's go to the post that we want to lock. And it was the best garden tomatoes. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to paste the short code. I'll click update. And then we can see it in action. All right. So now if somebody goes to this post and they see the best garden tomatoes, they see that they have to subscribe in order to read that post. And then also remember when I told you about the enable attention activation, that is this part that will pop up and really get their attention to have them sign up. And then if they keep scrolling, then it goes back to normal. But you see that activation, attention activation is really powerful as well. So that's a super easy way to add content locking to your WordPress website so you can increase your email subscribers. Thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.